coming up I'll be talking about some new Marvel shows potentially coming to Disney Plus. But before we go any further make sure you do hit that subscribe button to keep up with the latest Disney Plus news. Hi everyone it's Roger here from what's on DisneyPlus.com. It's Wednesday it's time to jump into some Disney Plus news and there's actually quite a lot today so let's jump into it first off. Looks like we've got some new Marvel series in development. First off, we have got Ironheart, according to um, Cinema Spot. This series is in very early development. No writers or showrunners are connected to this one yet. Ironheart is a 15-year-old girl who develops a Iron Man suit of her own and ends up taking down some criminals and ends up becoming a superhero. Now, this kind of all ties in, it's obviously, with Iron Man and kind of also bringing in a new generation of superheroes this one could be kind of interesting. Also, we've previously heard from Robert Downey Jr. say that he would like to see the character introduced into the series. But obviously, as of yet, it's very much in the early stages. No casting details or anything about that one. Up next, let's talk about The Secret Warriors, which apparently is also in early development over at Marvel. Not yet sure if it's going to be a Marvel TV series for Disney+, Plus, or if it's going to be a movie. The interesting thing about The Secret Warriors is they've kind of got a lot of connections with the characters from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. The, um, sort of the group has already existed in the series in the past, and the main kind of characters include Quake and Yo-Yo, which obviously we've seen in the series. This also kind of maybe ties in with the ABC series that's currently coming to an end when the seventh season starts on ABC later this month. So it'd be kind of like a nice way of them kind of putting those characters into another series and maybe also making it into much more of a superhero series. I think that sounds pretty cool. But also with regards to the comic books, there's been lots of different members of the team, so they could kind of go in a different um, direction and kind of maybe not do the quake thing. But I think that definitely makes the most sense for them to do. Also in the animated world, we've seen Marvel Rising do a Secret Warriors and full of characters such as Miss Marvel. So interesting to see where they're going with that one. In some more Marvel news, the writer of the She-Hulk series, Dana Squartz, has took to Twitter to confirm the She-Hulk writer's room ended, so if you happen to be a showrunner looking for a writer who makes jokes and writes books and knows a lot of historical fun facts, hit me up. So it's pretty good the fact that the She-Hulk series has now finished its writing side of things and can now move on to this next stage of development. But things could still change with regards to that script. Obviously, if uh, the people kind of creating it, such as the showrunners or the directors or even Marvel, want to make some changes, things could still move around. But obviously, right now, nothing's being filmed. But if they can get a load of this um, early development stuff sorted now while everything's locked down, it could really help ease things up in the future where they're going forward with the Marvel story. In some other Disney Plus news, if you are um, after a Star Wars treat in the future, General Mills has announced that they're going to be releasing a brand new Star Wars The Mandalorian breakfast cereal, which is going to be coming later this year, and it will be featuring marshmallow versions of Baby Yoda. Um, yeah, that sounds lovely, but he, I must admit, the little pictures of the Yodas don't look entirely um, nice to eat, but hopefully we will see when this comes out, if it tastes alright. And also, Disney has confirmed during the investors' call that Disney Plus now has 54.5 million subscribers worldwide. And in the same call, Bob Chapek also confirmed that Disney Plus will be launching in Japan in June. It'll also be launching in some European countries, including the Nordics, Belgium, Luxembourg, and Portugal in September, and it will be coming later this year to Latin America. And finally, the Disney Plus Spark Shorts Float has been nominated for a Peabody Award in the entertainment category. It's got a lot of competition, including Stranger Things and Chernobyl, but obviously being nominated with those TV series is a great thing for Disney Plus, and generally, Float is a fantastic short, so if you've not seen it, go check it out over on Disney Plus now. Well, anyway, guys, let me know what show you're looking forward to seeing on Disney Plus soon. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Go check us out over at what's on Disney Plus.com. Like, follow, and subscribe. And I shall see you guys in another video.